Are you guys ready to make this cute little hat for your 18 inch dolls? Well, let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, you are going to work in the round. You're going to seam up here and you're going to add your pom-poms. And you can make this in any colors that you want. I have some red, white, and green. I have the uh, big twist, red heart, and red heart with love. So as long as it's a medium full weight yarn. And so uh, just set those to the side. Okay, you will be using an H 5.0 millimeter hook. You will need a yarn needle and you will need a pair of scissors. So let's go ahead and get started on this cute little hat. I guess I can just set it up here so you can look at it as we work. So our main color is going to be red. So let's go ahead and start with the red. And so we are going to chain 40. One, two, three, four, five. And 40. Now we are going to slip stitch into our first chain. So uh, try and keep this straight. And as you turn in, we are going to slip stitch into this very first stitch. So grab your yarn that you're working with and make your slip stitch, just like that. Now we are going to chain three and that is a double crochet. Each row, we are going to either chain two or chain three. One is going to be a half double crochet and if it's a chain three, it will be a double crochet. So we are going to go ahead and make a double crochet in each chain around. So that was our chain three that represents one because we need 40 total. So it's one, two, three, four, Five. Now, if you noticed, I'm crocheting my little strand of yarn in as I go. That's 12. Now that you have your 40, go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your chain three space, just like that to join it. Now you have a circle. Now you're going to chain three and that is your double crochet. Now we're going to work in the front post and in the back post. Front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and we're going to continue that pattern all the way around. So to do your back post double crochet, on this one is your hook will always insert from the front side of your stitches and the back post means your hook will always go into the back side of your stitches here so do um, proceed proceed to do a like a double crochet and your hook is on the front side of this grab the post the double crochet post follow through on your double crochet now do the back one Make sure your hook is in the back, back here, behind this. So if you ever get confused, always remember, front means your hook is in the front. Back means your hook is in the back. So the front, do another front post double crochet. Back, put your hook in the back behind this. Do a back post double crochet front your hook is in the front and that's how you know the difference if you get confused because I get confused too and so that's what always helps me is like I know that my hook always has to be in the front and you just continue this all the way around just like that and see how it's given this rib look 
So I will meet you back on the last stitch. Okay, now that you've done your last one, which should be a back post double crochet, um, we are going to, you're not going to cut off your yarn. You're just gonna, going to drop it. And the next color you're going to pick is the green. And so before you slip stitch, You're not going to cut the red off. You're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three, but you're going to take, you're going to drop the red and um, pull up the green yarn or whatever your second color is. It could be blue if you're doing the red, white, and blue. Okay, I'm going to just kind of pull that. Now, this is going to be a half double crochet row, so we're going to chain two. And we're going to, because that's a half, that represents a half double crochet. We're going to half double crochet all the way around, back to here, and um, you should have forty half double crochets. Now you can do like me, and you can uh, crochet this little tail in right here. So just like that. So I will meet you back here. So now we have 40 and we are going to, we're not going to cut that green either. Now we're going to grab our white yarn. We're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two and we're going to pull up our white yarn or whatever, like I said, whatever color combination that you want to do this. So now we are going to chain three so that, that becomes a double crochet and we are going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you should have, when you get here, you should have 40 double crochets. So now you're finished with your white. And once again, you're not going to fasten off. So go ahead and slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And now we're going to pull our red back up. Going to chain two. Okay, so the chain two is a represents a half double crochet, and um, you just half double crochet all the way around until you have forty half double crochets, just like you did on the green row. Okay, so I will meet you when you get to the other side. Okay, so we just finished that. We are going to uh, drop our red yarn. Going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two and we are going to grab the green yarn to finish the slip stitch we are going to chain two and we are going to continue this pattern all the way up to um, you should have one two three you should have at least three of the double crochet rows so once you get the three double crochet rows because I'm not sure, you know, it's whatever colors that you're choosing to use. And um, so when I finished my three double crochets, I did a red row. So when I finished three double crochets of my white here, I will also end with a red row for this project. So go ahead and do um, continue working up in three. And once you finish your three double crochet rows, do one more half double crochet and I'll meet you back. I would go ahead and mention that once I start on my last double crochet row, I go ahead and take this color right here and I fasten it off and I crochet it in. So mine was the green. And so there I just cut off, I just fastened off the green and I'm crocheting it in as I go. And when I get finished with the this white double crochet row, I will do the same thing when I go to slip stitch. I will cut off the white yarn and I will crochet it in. So I, I did, I meant to mention that earlier. So see, I'm just crocheting it in as I go. Okay, so we are on our last row and I wanted to stop and show you this, what I was talking about. I'm going to, um, 
drop the white, pull in our red. And like I said, this is our last row. We're going to chain two and uh, we are going to fasten off the white. And we're going to crochet this white strand in as we go. So you just continue making your half double crochets and each stitch around and just crochet the strand in as you go. Now that we're on the end, we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two, just like that. Now we are going to leave a long strand because we are going to seam it up. Now, just to recap on that, you have two rows. You have a double crochet, a front post and back post double crochet. You have a half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and half double crochet. Okay, so now you wanna turn it inside out and on the ends where you did your connections, That is going to be, that's what the inside looks like. That's going to be on the side of the hat. So see the front and back are seamless. And, um, and there's the side. So now all we're going to do is seam up the sides. So take your yarn needle And we're just going to seam it up. So just go through both loops. Okay, so now we're going to weave it in to close it up. Go ahead and fasten it off. Now don't forget to turn it back to the inside out. I'm going to make the pom-poms for this. So you will need all three of your yarns. First, you need to cut about uh, two 12 inch strands of yarn. It doesn't really matter what color of your, but you'll need two of these. Okay, so you can literally use anything you want for your pom-poms. These are about five inches wide and you'll, you'll need to take your strand of yarn and if you have a pom-pom maker, you can use your pom-pom maker as well. So just take your strand of yarn, wrap, kind of wrap it like that. Get your three colors that you want your pom-poms to be made with. Okay, I have my three colors. And you'll just need to take your hands and hold this down like that. And you're just going to wrap about 25 times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25. So after you wrap it about 25 times, go ahead and cut that off. And now we are going to take these two strands that we have, one in the front and then one in the back. We're going to tie a knot. 
but as we tie the knot, we'll slip this off slowly. And as we tighten up our knot, keep, keep sliding it off. There we go. Now take your one of your fingers, hold it down so it don't come loose. Tie another knot. Now I like to wrap it again. And I tie a knot on this side as well. Just to make sure that it's really tight. There we go. Okay, so you'll need to make two of these. Take your two strands, hold them separately so you do not cut them. So keep them out of the way of your scissors. And you're just going to go through here and cut those loops. Really helps to have a good pair of sharp scissors on this part. Okay, now you're going to turn it. Do the other side, but notice I'm still not letting my two strands get in the way. Now, like I said, if you have a pom-pom maker, just by all means, go ahead and use your pom-pom maker. Uh, but this is for the ones who don't have a pom-pom maker. All right, so now what I like to do is I go ahead and pull those up, take my hand. So once you get it all up there, you just start cutting cut off the tallest Now that you've got it pretty much even right there, then you're going to let go. You're going to let go, shake it out. And this is where you start shaping it. So just keep cutting around till you get it the shape that you want. Now, once you get your pom-poms pretty much the same size, we're going to attach them to the ends. So just take your hook, go find one of the corners, take one of the strands of yarn, just pull it through, and then go to another stitch that's on the corner and grab the other strand of yarn like that. And take both strands and you're going to tie a knot. And before you cut it, you may want to see how it's hanging. All right, now we are going to attach the other one. Once again, we're just going to put our hook in one of the corner stitches there. And then put our hook in another stitch on the other side. All right, take both strands, tie your knot. And there you are. So, and you can make these in so many different color combinations, different seasons, you know, whatever you want to do. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. The possibilities are endless. Have fun. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.